a maki I ain't really had no friends that didn't do me dirty I ain't really had no friends at all that really just was me That's why I say I feel like Naruto was a maki Kakashi sensei was my only homie Sasuke man I swear he did me dirty Sakura, she never liked me And even when she did, she wouldn't still acknowledge me Money run up and through hell and back, you don't understand me I be fighting demons daily like Uzumaki I'm the non-tail fox, don't fuck with me What's up, Saiyan Army? Just finished some cardio so something I'm doing every single morning and this is to pre prevent from being like lazy when I wake up a lot of times especially during this quarantine time and a lot of you guys because you guys are used to the waking up and going to work you know you wake up now you don't have to rush to get ready to leave for work to be traffic and all that stuff and you just end up laying in bed rolling around and just being lazy and that's probably the worst way to start your day so for me what I notice is that if I wake up jump straight on the treadmill and just do like 20 to 30 minutes. So normally I do like 20 to 30 minutes. I burn like two to 300 calories. Um, I do emails and I answer client questions during that time. Um, it just starts my day on the right foot. You know, motion creates motion. So it just powers the way through the rest of my, powers the way through the rest of my day. And for those of you guys who used to work out in the morning, early in the morning, you guys know this, that when you guys wake up, go straight to the gym and work out, normally the rest of your day is really productive and you just feel better throughout the rest of the day. So this is something that I'm doing and I hope a lot of you guys can start like picking up for those of you guys who may be in a slump right now, maybe, you know, just maybe feeling down because of everything that's going on. Start your day on the right foot, you know, so wake up, go out for a run, go out for a walk if you can, do like a home workout, hit, hit your bag, do some burpees, just do whatever, just do something active first thing you wake up. I promise you it'll help you a lot and you also burn some extra calories. For me, my activity is a lot lower now because, you know, the quarantine and everything, so this is a great way to help me, you know, not get too boo-like as we'll talk about later because we are on that burly bulk right now. All right, so just finished cardio, got a shower and making my first meal of the day, getting in something high in protein. But yeah, just to catch you guys up on everything that's going on, as you guys saw earlier in the video, right now I'm weighing at about 177. I think it was like 176.8-ish or so. And reason being is because right now I'm going into bulk mode. I'm ready to make them sand gains. As you guys know, typically I'll stay lean for cons just because it's easier. You know, I stay within like that 172 to maybe like at the top 175 for cons. Then I just cut down to like around 170 and that's lean enough for cons. You know, it's not like show ready, but it's more than lean enough for cons. And that's what I've been doing. But because of everything that's going on and also like it sounds like, so Anime Expo was supposed to be my next con that I attended but because of everything that's going on it sounds like it's gonna get cancelled so I mean it is what it is it sucks because I wanted to go last year I had everything booked then I injured my arm and this year I was looking forward to you know coming back with a vengeance and yeah all this happens so <laughs> maybe next year but we'll see we don't even know if it's gonna get cancelled but I'm like yeah I'm like 99% sure sucker is gonna get cancelled so yeah right now I'm on a bulk feeling good normally it's harder for me to get to like 177 to 180 just because uh, my activity is a lot higher and my diet isn't as on point as it is now but because of, of the quarantine I can focus more on my diet my activity levels have been a lot lower which is also why I do cardio just to keep my activity levels a little bit higher just be and also just keep my cardiovascular system in check so yeah I think right now the goal is to bulk to 180 <laughs> dude my body's been feeling really really good lately elbows still a little shaky here and there you know um some weeks it's a little bit some weeks that tricep 1090 is kind of kicking other weeks it's kind of better but other than that lifts feel great i feel strong and this extra body fat's really making a big difference which you know i haven't got this heavy in a while so i don't know it just feels good so you're gonna see your boy making all kinds of gains and if you guys are wondering what I'm making right now, shout out to Greg actually for this recipe. It's called Anabolic French Toast. You can look it up on YouTube, it's a really simple recipe. It's pretty much egg whites, um, vanilla extract, cinnamon, stevia, and bread. 
throw it on a pan right here, letting it cook. It takes like forever to cook. But for me, that's for me, I'm someone that doesn't like to cook. Um, I usually just make like a batch like this. Like I made this batch yesterday morning. But yeah, I think for about three of these breads, it comes out to maybe a little bit less than 50 grams of protein. Um, I try to get as much protein as I can in the morning. And that's what I recommend to a lot of my clients too, is to get your morning started with more protein so you're not playing ketchup at the end of the day. You know, I know a lot of people, especially when they're hitting their macros, um, they don't plan it well. And first off, if you're not planning your macros before the day begins, you're failing already. Um, but secondly, a lot of them are just, a lot of people just play catch up, you know, later in the day. And that's a recipe for failure. So, you know, plan your macros before the day begins. I'm not tracking anything right now. I'm just kind of eating. Um, I eat relatively similar every day and I kind of have a gauge on how much I need to eat. So I'm not tracking anything. Um, plus it's like bulk mode. So, um, I can easily gauge how much fat I'm gaining and everything. And I'm just going by feel. So gonna wait for these bad boys to cook up they're right there they're gonna take about i don't know like another 10 15 minutes but yeah see you guys when it's done and my mom just dropped off snacks this morning let's see what we got we got Lee Hing sour patch kids Lee Hing sour jacks apple so they don't make the Lee Hing sour apples anymore for whatever reason something happened with the factory these are the next best thing you guys gotta try these these are Bomb. Leaking out of there. Add that with your popcorn and my absolute favorite. I can eat these two bags easily in one sitting. I can eat one bag in one sitting. Thank God I'm bulking. But yeah, these are my favorite. These chibi out of days. Thank you for dropping this off, mom. So I've been quarantining myself from, you know, pretty much everyone. <laughs> so I haven't seen my parents in a while. My mom just dropped this off in the morning. Um, outside my door. So thank you mom. She watches all my videos. My mom's my number one fan. She texts me after every video, after she watches every video. So thank you mom. Love you. Be safe, be healthy, and I'm gonna enjoy this. And this is breakfast. So basically topped it off with some Greek yogurt through some frozen blueberries. I kind of like it how it has like that frozen grape kind of taste when it like thaws out. It's kind of crunchy. I really dig that. I'm gonna use some Walden Farms calorie free syrup. As you can see, we're almost done. So we got backup over there, but just load it. Oh yeah, I think this might be enough. Now I'm gonna add a little bit more actually. And something I forgot to cook that I rushed to cook was these chicken sausages. These are from Costco. These look like poop but they're really good actually, and they have really good macros. So try that out, got some orange juice as well. And gonna watch Ace of Diamond. And for those of you guys wondering, no, I am not buying a TV stand. Um, reason being is my lease goes up pretty soon. I'm not sure how much longer I'll be staying here. And yeah, I, don't, I just don't know. And honestly, it doesn't bother me with my TV on the ground. But, is that Panda? But to catch you guys up on my anime, caught up with Haikyuu, finally started watching that. Last time I went to Japan, Haikyuu was just lit all over the place and I didn't understand it. I'm like, why is volleyball so damn popular in Japan? So I was like, okay, I gotta start watching this. So I watched Haikyuu, Haikyuu was flipping great. I highly recommend Haikyuu. Not, I'm caught up to maybe like three or four episodes back, but I'm caught up to the, this current season. Now I'm watching Ace of Diamond because, I don't know, I just got kind of hooked on sports animes. Also, I used to play baseball when I was a kid, and Ace of Diamond is so flipping good too. Um, they don't explain baseball as well as Haikyuu explained volleyball. So when I watched Haikyuu, I went into it not knowing anything, like zero about volleyball, and they taught you everything, which was great. Ace of Diamond doesn't really teach you much about baseball, so um, I would recommend like getting an understanding of how baseball works and everything. But really relatable. I used to play baseball all growing up as a kid. I'm left-handed. I used to be a southpaw pitcher as well, um, just like Sawamura. And like, yeah, it's just really good anime. Um, really enjoying it. The one thing I don't like about Ace of Diamond is, for those of you guys who played baseball before or pitched, a lot of times they're ahead of the count. They're always like 0-2, 1-2, or even 2-2. Two and they always, and I understand it's a show and maybe they're trying to save time and whatever, 
but they always throw strikes down the middle and they always get slammed. They always get hits, like home runs, you know, they always get hits and stuff. And it's like, whenever you're head of the couch, you never throw, like what they call in the show is a meatball. You never throw anything down the middle, but that's the only irritating thing about the show so far. I think they are correcting it because I noticed like as the show progresses, right now I'm only on season two, but I'm noticing as the show progresses, they're kind of correcting it. But it's also like high school baseball, it's not like Little League, so I feel like they should know this stuff already and like that stuff with Sawamura and holding the, not holding the ball, not consistently holding the ball the same way, like what? He used to like to display his car collection. What? So he uh -huh. actually drove his cars inside. Oh, that's why he can get the fence. Yeah, so the fence on that. Oh. Yeah, he used to have plenty of cars. You also notice down the hall, at the very beginning of the hall, there's a door that really doesn't need to be there. It's because he's to close the door when he has to have his parties, yeah. Dude, you can have like a, like a really romantic yoga studio in here. Yeah. And then you can have like weights in here. How come you didn't turn on the AC? <laughs> oh. oh, the pool's kind of small. Well, it's meant to entertain, not to swim laps in it. Swimming. Just for your orgies. That's exactly what I'm not saying. It's an orgy room. Yeah. <laughs> okay. It is a dirty house. It's hot as fuck, too. Oh my. Say I feel like Naruto Uzumaki Kakashi Sensei was my only homie Sasuke, man, I swear he did me dirty And Sakura, she never liked me And even when she did, she wouldn't still acknowledge me Money run up and through hell and back, you don't understand me I be fighting demons daily like Uzumaki I'm the non-tail fox, don't fuck with me I'm not two-faced at all, I'm like Uzumaki Sasuke did me dirty, Sakura never liked me And even if she did, she still wouldn't acknowledge me Money run up and through hell and back, I ain't have no friends be Took me a long time just to get a friend be I 
All right, so that's the end of the video. Sorry if it's a little bit long. I'm gonna be up all night editing this one. Um, if you guys made it to the end, I really do appreciate it. Comment down below, ascend, because that's what we're gonna be doing through you know, these tough times. And just one last thing before I close out this video is, you know, right now we gotta have the attitude of gratitude. We gotta count our blessings. I know like a lot of you guys are going through some tough times. There's a lot of people going through some tough times, but there's always someone out there that has it worse than us, you know. If you're waking up and you're in good health, you know, that's a win, you know, especially in, especially today and, you know, how everything's going. So, yeah, just have that attitude of gratitude, count your blessings, you know, and we're all going to come come out of this stronger than ever. You know, this is our hyperbolic time chamber. We're going to come out stronger and we will ascend. I promise you guys, you know, let me know as well if you guys want more vlogs so I can, I know I don't do this often, but you know, just want to do something a little bit different for you guys. So yeah, I really appreciate you guys and I'll see you guys in the next one for online coaching. Email me gokuflex at gmail.com for programs in army.com. Much love, strength and honor. Aloha.